Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. Okay, you all, so <clears throat> in my strainer bowl, I have washed, drained and washed chicken and... I'll go ahead and mash my chicken up. When I made the chicken stuffed avocado yesterday, I had some toppings left of vegetables that I had chopped up. And I kept them in some foil. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little handful of that because we have tomatoes and green onions and uh, garlic. That's what's in there. So I'm gonna take just a little bit because my kids are not vegetable eaters. And uh, put some in. Just a little, because I know how Tina and Terrell is. If I had red apples, you all, I would have chopped them and put them also, or anything like cranberries. Hmm, I don't know about raisins, but anything like of that sort, I would have put them in, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and yeah, I know I want to add some feta cheese, right? Because I don't know. I, I, I didn't find out that was a, a, a low-fat cheese. And boy, I just went crazy with it. Just crazy with it. And, um, let me see if I can do it better than that. And I, uh, I seem to like that cheese. It just gets so much flavor. It gave so much flavor to that avocado chicken, you all. It was so good. So good. And my eggs ain't gotta be all smashed, however, when I get to smooth and stuff around. It's gonna be okay. Mash that up a little bit. Kind of mix it around. I'm gonna add a slight onion powder. Of course, I know. Her and that onion and garlic, yes, honey. A little, little pepper. Himalaya salt is good for you. It is salty though, so I'm gonna go. Hold on, it ain't came out yet. Okay, there you go, a little salt. Not that much. Over here, I am going to add in my cup Uh-huh, yeah. Come on. Don't get lazy on me now. I don't say about that much. It's all going in together, right? Right. The kids love when I make this. This is their favorite mustard. Not a cup though. Not a cup. Just around a half in there of mustard. And then we got sweet relish. I sent Terrell to the store. And he came back with that. So I ain't gonna even measure. So I'm going in. Sweet relish is what makes it so good, you all. I may add just a little of my, somebody say always, don't put that much mustard. Well, I like to taste the mustard, so does the kids. It almost gives me like potato salad vibes. You know what I'm saying? 
I made this over and over again, y'all. It's one of the little quick family recipes that they like that's quick. You all, I cannot stand my, uh, I'm gonna taste this by the way. Y'all in dispense like that. And what we have is a delicious homemade chicken salad. Whipped up real quick. Y'all yeah, be cooking, okay? So excuse my shirt. I be making it do what it do up in here. Smoothies, uh, uh, juice be flying everywhere. Yeah. Kids been waiting on this all day. Mm. Okay. How do you say? Dinner's done. You all. I cannot stand. I was doing a video. There was a video where I was, um, washing Terrell's hair. I hate my arms. And they say, if you don't like something, then go out and change it, right? I know I'm excited because like, every time I put my clothes on, <laughs> I always uh, push my breasts up. You know, they already, they set up already, you know, huge, but um, I push my breasts up and push the men and turn sideways. Like, yep, it's gonna look like that when they get done. It's gonna, I'm gonna be straight, you know. But anyways, I cannot stand my arms, you all. I cannot stand these back arms. So I went out and got some dumbbells. This is the season where you stop making excuses. This is the season where if you don't like something about it, change it. So I went out to Walmart and I grabbed these. And I sit, y'all, every night, and I do 50, or I'll do more. I'll do whatever I can to, uh, I'll do them like this. My friend Kamayo, he moved away. He showed me how to do the dumbbells. He was, he was, a, uh, he was my weight loss trainer at uh, LA Fitness, and he's a good friend as well. And he would show me how to just keep, he said, keep doing it. My arms would be just hurting. He was like, just keep, keep moving your arms. And do dip, do different ways and things like that. I can't wait to these get off, y'all. These have really been, ugh, like I said, a hindrance. But I cannot wait. Anyway, so I sat and I do these. I'll do them this way. Like right now, my arms are getting sore. And um, then I'll do like this. This way. And then I'll go like up and down. I have to stop because that hurt. Hold up. I'm just telling y'all about it, but this is what I do like while I'm sitting and watching TV or something like that because I refuse to go have surgery on my arms. Now, yes, I do need a breast reduction, but I feel like in other areas, and yes, I would love to have a tummy tuck, but some things you're just going to have to work off yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like stuff like this. These arms, they 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 can they they can go back in. You know, it's hopeful. I Y'all mean, saw my arms. They, I got a little fatty tissue pockets in my arms and stuff. I don't know where that come from. I, I, I'm not gonna say my my dad's mom's side. I'm gonna say that came from here again. My grandmother, my mama's side. Uh, I can't remember my grandmother having them arms, but I call them the Michelin tire. <laughs> I can say that about myself, okay? But yeah, so what 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 better is it to have your arms like toned up and your sundresses? You know what I'm saying? And your breasts pulled in nice and your arms looking nice. You know, it just goes from the waist down. I would say the neck down. You know what I'm saying? Now, the only thing I do, I know when I lose weight, 
automatically in my face, I always, and maybe this is where everybody, but some people say they lose weight first in different places. I lose weight in my face first, and then it drops down. You can see it in my shoulder area, and then it goes on down the body. Um, I'm, I always talk about this. I don't like it when I turn to the side. And then I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna go get that liposuction on my chin too. But then I thought about it, like, no, I'm not about to do that because I have lost weight before and this does go away. However, it is turkey goblins that runs in my family <laughs> and some of the older women. Um, you know, you got those little turkey goblins that, you know, they drip down like that little gobble. <laughs> Only time I'll go get some lipo is when that happens and I'll exercise and I'm already small and that don't go away. Now that would be the only time, cause I just, I just be praying to the Lord like, Lord, I already got the veins and the legs from, don't, don't let me get the turkey gobbling too. You know, I don't want that little turkey gobbling. Okay, it's a different story from a double chin than a turkey gobbling, you know. And I just can't like have that, like just, just draping down sideways, like, you know, falling down like some, yeah, I just, I can't, I can't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna work hard on that. I already know that, like I said, that, that goes away. I have gotten, lost a lot of weight before where my face have gotten smaller and I look back in pictures and be like, oh, that, one, that wasn't even there. So I ain't worried about this. Just the fact maybe like I said, when I get older. But the arms, yes. <laughs> the arms do need work as well as this belly area that is gonna be exposed when the breasts are lifted and uh, reducted. So, that's why I say you know, I'm working so hard on this now and trying to cook right and stick to my plans and stuff like that because they said that this reduction is going, going to reshape your figure. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I'm gonna have to live with once I've made this decision and went on through with it. Because of the simple fact that, um, like I said in the last video, um, it seemed to uh, the heavy, you know, my chest is, it hovers over the belly part, which hid that. So by that being going to be reducted and those, that belly being uh, uh, exposed like that, I can't do it, y'all. I just don't, I just don't, I refuse to be shaped like that. And, and it's not too late. It's not too late to go ahead and reshape myself and, and uh, you know, the treadmill, um, it's on its way. It's, it's gonna be, they're parked there for uh, my advantage. My advantage to just get right on it. Instead of, oh, my legs hurt today, I'm, I'm going, I don't feel like going down the stairs or out the door. And the weather's about to get cold. I'm funny about this coronavirus stuff going on. So I'm the type, I don't want to go work out and be sweating and walk back out and have to, you know, catch a cold, end up catching a cold from the gym to the house. So, no, I don't want to do that. So I want it at my advantage right there. And I know if it's there at my advantage, then there is definitely no excuse for me to do what I'm supposed to be doing. So, um, yes, like I said, by the age of 51, Lord willing, uh, I'm not gonna look like this. I, I, I'm calling, I'm speaking, I'm calling those things out. I'm, I'm speaking those things into existence. Uh, I'm not gonna be like this. I'm speaking life. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So I'm speaking life. I'm going. I'm going. I'm not gonna look like this. Um, I'm gonna be, like I said, looking better than I was in my younger years. And so that's what I'm doing as far as getting my body in shape and everything. And the smoothie's been going well. Uh, however, I did go out and buy some more grapefruit juice and orange juice and uh, lemon juice to remake that detox drink. Because I drink it, you know, like in the mornings or something like that. I won't say that I would have it every day because I don't know how it would do with my stomach. Um, you know, with ulcers or causing any ulcers or anything like that. But that's what I'm doing. So I just wanted to come on and show y'all some, you know, quick tips. Uh, you just sitting around the house, y'all go out and get y'all some dumbbells. Y'all don't feel like exercising and getting on the treadmill. You missed that walk that day or you just didn't feel like doing it. At least pick these up while you're watching TV and just, you know, I don't know, do it till it's sore. Do it till it's sore. And when it gets sore, like, oh, these hurt. Put them back down, give yourself a break, try it again. Cause you're just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? And by, and, and, and you know, 
they, they'll start tightening up. And I noticed that my iron's been sore. And I bought these three days ago and I've been using them every night. I noticed my arms are sore. You know, they're sore, they're supposed to be. Ain't no soreness there, you not doing no work. So that's what I've been doing because I'm, I'm like this now. If you don't like something about yourself, change it. Stop just making excuses about it and getting mad when other people call you out on it. You know, not that nobody called me out, but I'm just saying, you know, people get mad at you, first thing they say is, but they're fat set. So if you don't like that, you know what I'm saying, change that. Uh, a lot of things you don't like about yourself, make yourself feel good. Self-preservation, y'all. I'm sticking to it. I ain't, I ain't forgot. Usually I be done told y'all something and went back on it and gave up. Like she, she gave up. She out to dinner with such and such. Which that was very hard because I was always out to eat with my sisters. Um, you know, we always, let's, let's, go get, let's go get something to eat. Girls night out. Hey, and I ain't been doing none of that. Y'all are telling the truth. I've really been putting in work as y'all can see. Um, putting out videos and focusing on, you know, my goals and reaching accomplishments. It's one thing to focus on your goals, but it's another thing to accomplish your goals. And so that's what I wanted to do, accomplish my goals this time. Like, I want to succeed. I will succeed. I will do this. I will not be defeated. I will not give up. I'm going to make it. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off. I hope that I encourage some of you all and I hope you like the chicken salad and, uh... Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.